Cheers! So, today I have spent the time, spent the day while Katie was working. Um, I have been editing the vlogs. I've been um, taking some pictures of some inventory. I have been doing laundry. Um, and that's pretty much taken me up to this point. Uh, but right now, I'm running to Walgreens to get some sinus meds because it is raining a lot and it is driving Katie and mine's allergies crazy. Um, and, you know, we got to get that under control. And then um, I'm going to run to the grocery store, pick up food for tomorrow. Um, and then we're going to figure out what we're going to eat later tonight. Um, and then we'll probably end the night playing some more Animal Crossing um, since we haven't done that. And that's probably going to be most of the day. Um, but let's go shopping. Stop number one. Now most people can just get regular stuff. But we got to get the prescription strength stuff because uh, we both pretty much get out of commission if our sinuses get too bad. Stop number two. Publix. It's raining out. <sighs> Does everybody else just take a buzz by the buy one, get one section just to see if there's anything good? I always do. Oh, how quickly the weather changes. I was in the grocery store for maybe five minutes and this started I'm a little wet, but everything's done. Time to go home. Figure out what we're gonna do for di for dinner. Yeah. Hi, friends. Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses in the rain because that's how I roll. But we are heading over to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Linda is having a little staycation. Um, Animal Kingdom Lodge is actually her home resort for DVC and she's never stayed there until today. Well, until tonight. Um, but she... See my call! Animal Kingdom bus. So she is going to eat dinner at Sana tonight and asked us if we wanted to join her and we said heck yes. Plus, we get a little resort time and we can see her savannah room even though it's boring so there's probably not many animals out. Or all the animals are out. Or all the animals are out. We'll find out. We'll see you there. Okay, so we're walking down to Linda's room. She has a savanna view. One of the biggest complaints I have about Animal Kingdom Lodge is that these hallways are so long. If you are nowhere near the elevator, this could potentially be a bad thing for you if you're not staying in your room very often. She's not terribly far, but she's not close either. <laughs> so you'll see things like what we're about to go past. You may pass a couple little sections like this. Sometimes they have an elevator and sometimes they don't.
Ooh, okay, so there were no reservations at Sanaa, so we got food to go. I got their mess or their message. Their menu is very small right now, um, but I got steak with basmati rice that they substituted for me. That was very nice. Duncan has the same steak, but with the roasted potatoes that they're supposed to come with. Linda got a salad sampler. I, that one you definitely can get at yes, Boma. At Boma. And then we have bread service. Well, really, Linda got bread service. We got non-bread. Um, none of us, well, Duncan and I are not big fans of the sauces, but Linda's been seeing it online forever and has never tried it. So we'll get a review from her sauce experience later. Okay, had to take a little breather because that steak was big. But this is the African triple chocolate mousse. And it's supposedly chocolate from different places in Africa. Dark milk and blonde, not white, blonde, <laughs> with strawberry sauce. And a chocolate biscuit somewhere. I don't know if it's on the bottom or if that's what this thing is. Okay, so we are venturing back to our car. We wanted to do a little Sana to go review. Um, we both had steaks, so there's really nothing to differentiate our foods, but uh, mine was very good. Steak was done really well. Yeah, it was honestly, like, I've never had steak to go, and that was really good. Now we didn't have to take it far, so that makes a difference. Um, I had, I subbed the potatoes for basmati rice, because that's my favorite thing, but Duncan had the roasted potatoes balsamic. Yeah, vinaigrette. Oh, yeah, balsamic vinaigrette. No, it was no. a potato vinaigrette. Oh, okay. It was okay. It had a flavor. I don't really remember how to describe it. No. It wasn't my favorite. Um, I would go with rice. Um, I had the African triple chocolate mousse for dessert. And it was delicious. And I would definitely get it again. I am a chocolatey person, and I felt like this was a light chocolate comparatively, like nothing gooey. Um, Duncan thought it was too chocolatey. It had like a chocolate cake base that was a little too chocolatey. It was really thin though. But the mousse itself was super light yeah. and fluffy and fantastic. Really good. The dark chocolate wasn't really that dark. No. Color or taste yeah. or bitterness. <laughs> My Sprite was really good too. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, so we're going to head home now to the puppies. Daily Disney for July 29th from The Incredibles. The Parr family home purposely evokes the futuristic design motifs of the 1960s, particularly those that created that those created for the original Tomorrowland exhibit at Disneyland. Ta-da! Um, you guys, if you play Animal Crossing, let us know. I don't know what it means to get other people's, like, names. I know it involves visiting and stuff. I don't know why you need to do that, but... Or if you want to know our name, let us know. I don't exactly know how to do this yet. But we opened up a museum, and we both played, paid off our tents. Yay! So tomorrow I'm off, and Duncan is not. That's our story. The end. The end. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming to the show! And for what? And for what?